everybody, we are live! Welcome back to the channel, I'm your host, and today we are kicking off our Halloween playthrough with the original Darkest Dungeon, with all of the DLC attached. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I will put in a little bit of a warning. Darkest Dungeon is a little on, on the darker side in terms of games, mainly for disturbing imagery. If you are not comfortable with that by any means, then this is not the stream for you, and that is perfectly okay. I'll catch you on the next one. So we're going to do Darkest, which is the original, um, it's basically normal mode, and we're going to get into a little bit of uh, model lore here with the last name of the character with Brewerston. Uh, the Brewerston Estate. And I believe it's O N for that little extra flair, but I could be wrong. But basically, we are just going to get as far as we can through the original Darkest Dungeon for the month of October, because it is spooky month. We do have all of the DLC enabled, so that does include the Crimson Court and the... I, I, forget, what, I forget what it's called, but it's with the... I believe it's called the, the uh, Crown of Madness. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Be they lonely, I fear, oh. or ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face vicious. So, long story short, we've inherited a estate from an ancestor that has gone off the deep end. And we are basically, it's our job to fix the, the estate and try not to go mad in the process. With the, with the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. And these are our two starting characters, uh, map navigation. So you are currently in a, in a room to move towards the other room. Use the right stick, or you can use the touch screen, but my, my switch is docked, so we're not doing that. Uh, this will take you to the connected hallway. Press E to close the window. There we go. So we have Reynold, a crusader. Right here, and there is a negative trait that I want I want to remove on him, but we'll worry about that later. And so we, we have the Warrior of Light quirk, which is nice, and then we also have God Fearing, which he will only pray for stress. Oh, okay. Again, I will I will get into some of the stuff later, and then I forget get how to swap between the characters but we also have a highwayman so let's roll in a hallway use the left stick or touch a header or behind the party to move forward or backward this game in particular is actually very good if you want a mobile experience And this is turn-based, so our first fight is with a bandit. 
so then we have we have our highwayman uh i think it's Displas is is how you pronounce his name so he's a known cheat so he will not gamble when he's in town again we'll get there when we get there uh he has a hard dragon so he, he's resistant to stun and quick reflexes so he's two points into speed which is awesome so for for Damas, and since we've only got one target, we're going to do a melee attack. And now the target is bleeding. So he's going to take some more damage um, every turn for, for a bit. Um, can I cycle through my moves? Yes, I can. So with stunning blow, we can stun the target, we can smite, which is basically a basic attack. Zealous accusation is a ranged attack, and the crusader could mark himself. We're just going to take a swing at the cutthroat, knowing that the bleeding damage will take him out. And for every combat we do, we get loot. In this case, 100 gold. Now we will need to be careful because the more loot we have, it means less supplies. So we have to kind of balance ourselves. And we will investigate the tents and take 500 gold. So if you notice, the top, that's our torch. So now that we have two, we're going to do a scatter shot to hit both targets. And then for our Crusader, we can only hit the front member. So I'm actually going to stun him. So that way he can't attack. However, we can't stun him in on the next turn. So... Uh, and I think, I honestly think the one in the back is going to be the hardest one to deal with. So, let's do a pistol shot. There we go. So, as you notice, there is now a corpse in the back. Corpses, um, can get in the way. Unless you have certain abilities to clear them, or if you take out an opponent um via bleeding or blighting which is tiny, which in this case is poison so we will just focus in on melee and he did a crit which is a good thing because that gives an additional bonus and we will take everything so we have some sigils Um, we'll remain here because I, I want to show you guys what we got. So we got gold, we got crests, we got a trinket, and then we got some beans, which that will come into play later as we are working with the hamlet. So now that our crusader is bleeding and bladed, we will just go back, to the, we will just go to the hamlet and I will explain things. Because now now we're at the hamlet, so I can't explain things. So we got some food and some gold, which is awesome. We actually got a quite a bit of gold, which is lovely. And then, uh, if you notice, we've collected some heirlooms, four crests and two deeds. Those will come into play later. And then, as we level up, our friends can gain new traits. So. Damas got Manslayer, which makes him better against human targets. And then Reynold got Quick Draw, which improves his speed on the first turn. It's actually really, really nice to have. Welcome home. I guess it is. Oh. Right. So 
So, now we can go through the Hamlet. We have the stagecoach. Which will allow us to recruit some new heroes, which we have here. Also, we can do upgrades to to the stagecoach. We can improve the barracks, which will increase our hero roster. We will do experience recruits, which that that requires stuff. And then we can do stagecoach network, which will give us more options to choose from. I'm going to increase the barracks right away. Just so we actually have options. And then for hero details, we have Bullivan, which has the last uh, last gasp, which if they're on if they're low on health, their speed goes up. And then Warren Scrounger, which some traits are better in certain areas. We'll get to the Warrens a little bit later. And actually this looks decent for a flycopter. I usually don't have emboldening vapors, but that's fine. Um, and then for negative quakes, they have off guard, which is minus four speed and minus five dodge, which is not great on the first round. And then necromania. So they're fascinated with corpses. Good to know. And then our Vestal, which who is just evasive, so they have plus five to their dodge. And honestly, I don't like the Vestal skill set that we have, but we'll, we'll work with it for now. Um, and then for their quirk, we've got evasive, and then they've got Hylomania, which is obsessed with material things, and then misses the spot, which is minus 2% to their crit. Eh, that's not great, but it's all we have to work with. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do both of them. What's better in laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? There we go. And then we've upgraded our network already, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we have a few buildings to talk about later. Um, well, I shouldn't say later. We, we should talk about them now. And then as, as we progress, I can r remind people... So we have the tavern, and we also have the abbey. These are our two main stress-relieving buildings. Because, if you notice, on Reynold and Damas, there's this little black notch under, under their names. That is an indicator of their stress level. If they reach 100% stress... Bad things can happen, so we're going to try to avoid that. And then we have the graveyard, which, unfortunately, we're probably going to fill. Um, we've got the sanitarium, which that can we can use that to alter quirks um, as we go along. I will definitely be using that for Reynold because he does have a quirk that I do not want on him. And I and at this point, I'm. I'm going to believe that that Crusader just has Kleptomania, um, but by default. And then for improvements, I, I would like to... So the guild, we can use that to level up skills. The blacksmith, which we can use to level up gear and armor. Um... The Nomad's Wagon, which we can use to buy trinkets. Or, if we go to the farmstead, because I've got this DLC unlocked, we can try to snag some extra crystals and get some class-exclusive trinkets. I don't think we're going to be visiting the farmstead all that often, but we'll see. And then... Yeah, we can use crests to increase the wagon size. Um, ooh, and merchant network actually reduces the cost of trinkets. Okay, good to know. Um, and then if we open this up, 
we get access to our inventory. So this is where all of our trinkets go. And I actually need to see... No, I, I don't want to do that. I just want to see what it does. Um... That's, that's not it. Oh, here we go. So we got the bloodied fetish. Um, so if we give this to a character, it increases their blight resistance and their bleed resistance. However, it lowers their chances of, it lowers their resistance against getting diseases, which is also something to watch out for. Um. I'm thinking we can actually give this to somebody. So yeah, we're we're going to give this to our plague doctor. There. And yes, as we progress, I will sell trinkets and pl play around with stuff. So, let's get to our first uh, official mission, yeah. So, here's the thing. Certain characters will be better in certain positions of the party. So, we're not going to take on the Darkest Dungeon, unfortunately. Not, not yet, anyway. So, we're going to put our Plague Doctor in the back. And then we're going to put our Vestal in the third spot. In the third spot. Guys, we're not going to take on the Darkest Dungeon right away. We're going to go to our first area, the ruins. And then we can go and provision. So, we're going to start with torches. <laughs> because a main factor in this game you need to worry about is the light. So usually I do a set and a half, which is 12 torches. And then the next thing I have to worry about is food. For short missions, I usually do... I usually do like six. Whoops. That's... That's not what I wanted. So let's... Let's re... Let's reprovision here. And yes, before you ask, I'm completely out of practice, so... So, food. Usually I do six, but I I, do, I also want to survive, so let's go with the eight for now. We'll grab a couple shovels, just in case. In fact, we'll, we'll buy those out. Um, and if you notice, we have a couple of items because of the party members that we have. The, I believe it's the Plague Doctor that will give us an antidote, which will ward against, um, which will actually help clear Blight. So I want to get a couple more of those. And the Crusader has holy, gives us holy water, which will increase resistance if we use it. I usually don't use it. And then I also want to grab some bandages as well, so that way in case we start bleeding, it's fine. <laughs> But, I think we are fully provisioned. Off to the ruins we go. Be curious, be careful. Oh man. Uh, I will admit, I'm I'm nervous, but that's kind of the nature of this game. This game is stressful, but it's kind of the stress that makes you want to keep playing and keep improving. Because eventually, it, it doesn't get as scary. Alright, so if you look, we have a map. Um, and... I keep forgetting that you have to use the right stick to pan. So, the main goal is to go up two rooms. 
and then we'll start working our way around. But main goal is to only um, explore like 90% of the rooms, so it's not, it's not going to be as bad. I'm just making sure that our inventory is is up and running as we progress forward. Ooh, a torch! Yay! An extra torch. Yes, I'm I'm aware. And then if you notice, if we press the B button, which I'm not gonna do. We can snap our torch to, lo to lower the light, and if we press X, we can add another torch. Which I'm not going to do that right now. Well, I'm, I might want to do that though. Um, can I... Can I pan up, please? Thank you. So we are currently in a room with treasure, and our Vestal is going to be our ranged attacker with judgment and she can also heal herself which is cool um with our highwayman he's definitely going to be more of a ranged attacker now mainly because undead are resistant to bleeding damage and our crusader just going to take out our Front, and it looks like our first fight went relatively well, which is good. We will investigate, and Kleptomaniac did not proc, which is good. So for the next passageway, I'm going to use a torch to make sure that we are relatively lit. So sometimes you will get blockages that can only be cleared with a shovel. You can clear them by hand, however doing so causes stress, which is not great. So now that we have a cultist in the back, and Moss, if you could get started on making sure that that cultist dies, because if you don't, that's going to cause issues later. Uh, really? Okay, so we're gonna do plague grenade in the back. Yay! Cultist is taken care of. Now we just have skeletons. And so far, the party is doing a very good job at not dying. Mm. Yeah, we'll do a we'll do a grape shot. Nice. Good work, Damas. Nice. And what do we got? We've got medicinal herbs, which can get rid of debuffs. We've got uh, what looks to be some onyx, which is money later, and some actual gold, which is good. We'll, we'll take all of it, mainly because we can. And... Make sure yeah, we're we're almost to the room. I'll make sure that we use a torch and nothing. So we can either go to our right or continue north. I'm thinking we continue north. Either way, we are relatively prepared. Ooh. Really? Wealth beyond oh. measure. Reynold. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. No, Reynold, no. So Kleptomaniac kicked in there, which caused him to take some items, which we could have used that. <laughs> Especially the torch. Thanks, Reynold. You dick. Alright, so we've got a cultist in the back. Melee unit in front that can cause bleeding damage. Which is not great. We don't need to heal just yet. 
Ooh. Good work. Good work on the crit. You love to see it. Um, we'll do a crit shot blast. Nice. So far, so good. But this also is the first... This is the first uh, mission, so... I wouldn't be surprised if we actually ended up doing well. There we go. Actually, no. You're... You're not gonna do ju judgment, you're gonna do divine grace. And you're gonna do that on our crusader. So that way our crusader stays alive. Uh, make sure that we start working on the skeleton. And smack. So we got some more busts, an emerald, and more gold. Nice. Uh, scouting. Ooh, we, we have a trap, which is not great. Uh, do I have- no, I don't have a key because Reynolds stole it. That's what you get. Um, however, we do have a bandage that we can use. So, it's fine. Um, let's- Navigation. I cannot adjust the brightness because I noticed that things are a little darker than they usually are. Which, unfortunately, that's kind of a part of the game. So, traps. And I'm going into Delmas because Delmas is kind of better in handling traps. Scatter traps will be visible on the ground as you approach them. Select the hero and then touch the A button while near tra uh, trap to attempt to disarm it. There is a chance this goes wrong. But thanks to Damas being Damas, it did not go wrong. And why not? In a fight. We can just continue because it is an empty room. Reynolds, do not be a jerk. Uh, oh! You did not take the the loot, which is nice, but you you procked. Okay, so th there is a good chance that either the vestal will will investigate stuff or Reynold will just take stuff which is not not my favorite so this is why we pack food um if the party gets hungry you can feed them and if you feed them they heal and if you don't feed them that will cause stress which is something that we really don't want um so We've got one last room. I don't know what's in the hallway leading up to the room. Okay. So let's just make our way down and hopefully things will go well. And it looks like we need a shovel. Thankfully I packed some. And is this a fight? This is a fight. Okay. Damas, time for you to be a ranged guy again. And we're focusing on the little well-dressed guy because he can throw stress around like you wouldn't believe. And I really don't want to deal with that. You weren't supposed to dodge, damn it. Plague grenade in the back. That's one down. The next one to worry about is, is the archer because he freaking crit. Uh, that's not good. Axe blade. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need to switch to a healing roll real quick. <laughs> Okay. Um, there is three targets, so Blight should take him out next turn. Let's start blighting on you. Uh, you don't need judgment, you need divine grace. Sweet. We're gonna have two poison takeouts, I think. Actually, no, Damas is gonna get the kill! I love to see it! Uh, some onyx, emeralds, crests, and gold. We're gonna remain, because that because there is a big chest here. So we're going to investigate that before we leave. And well. It didn't end well, but we got something! And we got a trinket. I didn't... I didn't check to see what the trinket did. But we got a trinket. And we got some busts and some more... Um... Crests, which is nice. I might need to answer that. And our vessel got a new trait. What did it, you got lurker? So your damage is increased when it when it's dark. Unfortunately, that's not very good. So over time, some negative perks will lock into place and become severe, which means that getting them removed is going to be a pain. Alright, so at this point, the tavern's opened up and we have a new trinket. Well, what do we have? We have the stun charm, which is a 20% um, increase to stun resistance and minus 2 dodge. I'm thinking that we give that to Reginald. <laughs> er, not, not Reginald, Reynold. Um, if you could... If I could open up your there there we go so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to the stagecoach and we're gonna recruit some more folks we've got a bounty hunter and an abomination oh this will be fun um so we're gonna grab the bounty hunter and the abomination. The bomb is in pain. Um, and unfortunately, the guild isn't opened up, so I can't tweak around with the Plague Doctor skill set just yet. Um, so we're going to go to the Abbey instead. And we will we'll actually do a little bit of upgrading because we can and we have the resources. Um, so we're going to increase the cloister first. There we go. And we're going to commit you for relief first. I know that puts our Vestal in a little bit of a sticky situation, but I'm hoping that we will get the guild soon so I can turn our Plague Doctor into a little bit of a healer. And then in the tavern, we could do the same thing, but I don't want to commit too many units right now. So, we will... Strange glow at the farmstead. Yeah, we're we're not gonna do that just yet. We're going to the ruins again, where we can actually get some stuff. Um, gold. Gold. 
gold portrait and the dark bracer, so that's an uncommon trinket. Uh, not really. And that's also a medium mission. Musket. Uh, that's for the musketeer. So let's do a short room and we'll grab something for the occultist once we um, get a occultist. And. I need to add one more member of the squad. So let's see. Aww. So the the abomination is a little bit different. Um, the abomination will have all of their skills at the same time, and just have two different forms. So you, um, uh, with a transformation skill, if you transform, that's going to cause stress. There's there's no denying. Um, but you do have a love interest and you also have something for the Warrens, which is interesting. And then, no, we're not, we're not doing the Darkest Dungeon just yet. Um, and what about you or Bounty Hunter? You've got something for the Cove. You're also better in the second position. Um, I'm gonna grab the abomination actually. Yep, yep. Make sure. So yeah, we're we're gonna grab you. We're gonna put you in the second spot, then grab Damas and put him in the back. And just to make sure that we have the right mission. So if we do this, which we need to complete a bunch of fights, we will get um, some gold, some busts, and a trinket for the occultist. Once we get an occultist. Uh, the next thing I want to do... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Options. Graphics. I was hoping... Uh... Gameplay, maybe? No, that's not. Other? Extra bark time, bark dismissal, auto sort, language. Nope. I hope this helps the brightness at least a little bit. I'm mainly because Darkest Dungeon is um, kind of a gloomier game to begin with, but I, I still want to make sure that the experience is somewhat somewhat okay for y'all. So let's let's go provision. This is a shorter mission, so and we do have a good chunk of gold with us. So I'm just gonna grab eight. Grab my torches as standard. Grab some shovels. And we don't have the extra antidote this time from the plague doctor. So we are going to grab all of those. Um, and let's grab a key for good measure, just in case we come across the locked chest. Because you can unlock those and get more stuff. Okay, back into the ruins, back to the undead. So far, I am not spooked. The home must be kept alive, and what better place to begin than the city of our noble mind? 
Alrighty, so I will make sure that I have got Randall selected. Now, our job is to handle rune battles. And looking at our map here, we've got a rune battle with a curio. So that's going to be our, our starting direction. And we start off with a torch. You'll love to see it. We're, we're stashing that for now. And we also have got a battle in the hallway, so I can show off the, the abomination. Spiders! So the abomination, at least in human form, has a stun with, with their manacles, beast bile, which can blight a target, mainly in the middle, middle two spots, and then they can also um, do a little bit of recovery themselves. And then they've got the transformation, which we're only going to use that for emergencies. And Damas can only be ranged at the moment, which is fine. Spiders are going to be a pain to take down. Ah, we're marked, which is not good. Um, I don't need to heal. Oh, that's not good. The mouse is now poisoned. I do not like that. Uh, we don't need... We don't need to transform, so we'll just stun. And... Yeah, the mouse is the only one that's taken damage so far. So he is poisoned. So before we do anything, we, we're going to clear that. Because if we don't, we're going to run into issues. So now that we've cleared that, we can shoot a spider. And miss, apparently. You... Fortunately, Damas is not... Not the best shot, apparently. Uh, he's a good dodger, though. And then we'll just do manacles again. So I can move him up, and we we're actually going to do that. Oh! I should have put the Vestal in the back. Because her her main skill that we're- well, the skill that we're using for her for is a single target heal and a ranged attack. So, noted. Poisoned again. Sir, can you- can you not be poisoned? For five minutes. And then we can do an open vein on the, or at least try to do an open vein on the spider. We fail. Manacles. Take him out. Perfect. Alright, so we got a minor gemstone, some gold, an antidote, which is nice, and some crests. And we should be able to keep going. Ooh, backpack! And nobody brought! Nice! Paid for in blood. So we have some food, a minor gemstone, some more gold, and a journal entry. We're taking that so that we don't come across it again. And yeah, the torch is gonna go. So after this, I will have to. I will have to make sure that our torch is um, remained lit. Uh, lit. Beast file. Just to start on targets. And pistol shot, because I'm worried about the ones in the back. You're already damaged, so if I can take you out right away. Um, let's actually do a little bit of healing. For, for the mouse. Oh no. Roared is getting stressed. That is not good. Roared is getting very stressed. That is not good at all. You need to die. And now our vessel is getting stressed out. 
Oh boy. So we are actually going to take the time and use absolution to kind of reduce our stress level a little bit. And we can use judgment to heal ourselves. There we go. Skeleton is down. Now we've just got the monstrosity in the back. <laughs> Or, I'm sorry, the bone courtier in the back. As the theme falls, there. A faint bullet across the take that, take the onyx, and the citrine. So, let's do that. And then we've got a sarcophagi. Or, a sarcophagus. Which is empty, unfortunately. Um, Skadden did not proc. So I don't know if there's going to be a fight in the next room or not. Let's, let's see. No, there's apparently a fight in the hallway. Joy. Okay. Um, I could transform right now. And I think I'm going to do that just to show off the monster. But if you notice, he gets stressed out. Everybody else gets stressed out. So, slam, rake, and rage. We're gonna do a rake attack. We're gonna claw into him. And then we're gonna shoot the one in the back, which helps, out, helps everybody in terms of stress. Two of our friends are bleeding now. That is not necessarily a good thing. Thankfully I brought bandages. Uh, so we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do a judgment. So that way we can heal ourselves. Slice and dice. Oh, he's getting stressed out, which is not good. I need to work fast. And there was actually a, a little bit of a quirk with the abomination that I will get into in a second. Um, mainly, you couldn't pair them with the Crusader or the Vestal when when this game first released. Since then, it, it's been patched out, thankfully. Um, oh, I, I didn't realize you, you, you were bloodied. Or, I shouldn't say bloodied, but actively bleeding. There we go. Finish this fight! Thank you! <laughs> Alright, so when the fight's over, he, he turns back. And I can only transform, I think it's once per combat. So we're going to take as much as we can. And then... Can I move? Can I move you back? Because I have every intention of, of moving you back. Looks like the answer is yes. Now, how can I? Ah! Well, that kind of worked. Um. Yes, I want you in the second slot and Damas in the third. Okay, now everything's fine. Let's keep moving. Uh, make sure that our. Ah! Didn't see that. Also, torch. The way is lit, the path is clear. Let's, let's investigate this. Oh, really? Ah. 
going through resources. There we go. And our team is a little roughed up now, which is not the best scenario. Um, there is a fight, and then there's also a treasure. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I'm going to go check out the one with the treasure. Thankfully, our vessel did not start bleeding. Don't you dare, Reynold. Alright, so we got a minor curio. And all of these guys are undead, so trying to get them to bleed out is going to be a pain. Ow. It's not great. He's file in the back, in in the middle. Good, good. Smack. And I need to make sure that my teammates stay alive. Hey, critical. Nice. Critical heal. You love to see it. Ah. Nice, nice. Um, actually, yes, we're gonna do a great shot blast. Which did not work. In the slightest. Um, hey, could you not shoot my friend? Thanks. Uh, oh! I did not realize that they actually had a banner jab. And fortunately we are now missing, which is a problem. Uh, Reynolds getting low on health too. That's that's not great. That's not great at all. Ow. Fortunately I don't have anything that Reynolds can use to heal himself. Actually, no. I do. I've got the Vestal. It's just not her turn yet. Uh, now it's her turn. Reynolds! Take those five points of healing. It is better than nothing. Um, we're not going to transform. We're using our manacles. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I don't think you can use a, a skeleton key on smaller chests. So, we'll just open this up. And thankfully, we are not blighted. So, we've got one more fight. Well, we've got one more possible fight down here that I want to check. Even foolhardy a lot. There's a curio. And you're not blighted again, which is nice. Hello! Oh, brother. I'm not expecting a fight. <laughs> okay. And these file in the back. go unforgiving and I will admit the narrator is actually one of my favorite characters in this entire game <laughs> like you don't see him but whoever they did whoever they got for his for his voice actor just does that good of a job Oh no! Um, that's a bit of a problem. And the moss. You can actually get him to bleed as well. Um, it's a good 
good thing I've got bandages with me. So we're going to end the fight right now. The blood. Oh. This is from the Crimson Corpse. We're going to need to keep a stash of blood on hand. Because eventually, there's going to be a plague at the Hamlet. And, unfortunately, the only way to deal with it is the blood. So we can take this. Oh no, we can't. I need to swap out stuff. Okay. Let's look pages from a torn journal. I cannot recall why we ventured onto this land. Why did we leave? When Mother Ocean provided all we needed, beneath her tender waves, I shall now return home, back to her embrace. Indecipherable scratchings fill the remainder of the page. He turned into a fish folk. I don't like that. He re and yes, we are discarding that. I see a trinket as well. Which is... Something. What trinket did I select? Sturdy Greaves, which is for the Arbalist. Okay, I can get rid of those because I don't have an Arbalist yet. We can take that. Oh gosh. We're gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna grab the blood because I know we're going to need it later. So the more I can get now, the better. And let's make sure that our torch is used. Sp spiders! We got this. They're just spiders. I keep forgetting Damas cannot hit to save his life. Oh no. Lord, no. Um, we're gonna need to judgment. Let's make sure that we st at least stay somewhat alive. That's one spider down. Three to go. We're um he's marked. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use that so you're not taking any more poison damage. And then, Beast, beast Vial, which did not work. Uh, since you are marked, we're gonna heal you, because since you're marked, you, you run the risk of taking more damage. Um, another spider down. Two more to go. Another spider down. Oh no. Oh, that is so bad. I don't... There we go. So, Reynold is... Not... Reynold is not doing so hot. So we're actually going to do a little bit of extra healing in the form of one, and then we're going to tap into our food reserves. Just to make sure that you can stay alive. And we're not going to worry about the rest of the loot. Now, there is one more fight that we need to do. Nope. Wrong way. And thankfully backtracking does not... Everybody's eating, which is good. Well, everybody can eat, which is good. And I'm gonna make sure... We can keep moving, moving forward. So 
So if you backtrack, your party will go through less stress and your torch will be slower to deplete, which is nice. And swapping to the moss. No, I don't want to do that. I want to deal with the trap. There we go. Trap is dealt with. And there's also a curio here too. It's a box. With stuff that we don't really need. Um, unfortunately. So we'll just keep moving on to the final fight. Can we do this? I hope. Okay. Once again, we're prioritizing the members in the back. Oh, I need to make sure that you don't go crazy on me. said that sometimes when a character gets to 100 stress things can go wrong there's a very small chance that they will gain a virtue instead which is a very good thing that happens unfortunately he's also dying which is not good um pump in the night fine uh we need to get you off of death's door Okay. I thought the abomination would have gone mad. He did not. You love to see it. <laughs> Crit for only one damage, but we also got the poison in there, which is nice. Uh, now we're doing bayonet jabs. Okay. Okay. Uh, Into the night. Ooh. That's not something you love to see. Damas. You're actually being a very good shot <laughs> right now, which you love to see. Uh. Full work of faith. There we go. I forgot it actually did that. I forgot that full work of faith actually increased the light. Um, I'm not trying to toy with this one. It's just a case of we didn't really have the options. Um, we don't need the gold. We've got plenty of stuff. And we've cleared just about everything. So we'll we'll just head back to the hamlet. Oh man, that was... That was brutal. Or at least brutal in a sense of... We could have lost somebody there. Which would not, would not have been fun. But the payoff was so worth it. <laughs> and everybody got a quirk. Or got a quirk. Most, well, it's. Could be either way. So, Reynolds got a, a craving for alcohol now, which is the least of his concerns. Um, Rord's obsessed with killing, which is not great. Uh, runes Explorer, which increases the scouting chance in the runes, which is nice. And then Runes Scrounger, which is a 5% increased chance. Nice. Y you love to see it, and we need to re relieve some stress, which is fine. Oh. Though long years may cease to separate them, action and consequence will invariably have their dreadful reunion. And 
now we have the Crimson Torts. We're not going to go see it yet, though. And now the Blacksmith is open. And the Guild is now open. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Guild real quick. Because... I want to add a trait, or add a skill, Battle with Medicine, and then for a Vestal, I want Divine Comfort, which is her, which is her, um, which is the ability to multi-heal. So, uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. We're going to do this real quick. Um, yes, combat skills. We're going to get rid of your melee attack, because I, I don't put you in front. And we're going to give you Divine Comfort instead. There we go. And then... I need... I need, I need our Plague Doctor. So we're going to get rid of... Emboldening Vapors for Battle with Medicine. <sighs> so that way we have a chance to heal. Now we need to worry about stress. So... Yeah, the, the sanitarium's not, not open yet. First things first. We're grabbing people. So we have an Antiquarian, which... For, for the Antiquarian, I am going to check their moveset real quick and make sure um, they have they have the, the trait that I want. And then for the Occultist, I want to make sure that he's somewhat equipped. So, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, hello friend, I have something for you. <laughs> Um, yes. So I actually gave him an item that makes him better at killing, uh, killing quote-unquote eldritch targets, which is mainly in the cove, I believe. And it looks like you're... You've got ward reconstruction, which is good. You've got eldritch pull, which is good. And you've got something else that I don't particularly use. So you're good at hitting the back row, but you want to be in front. Which I'm kind of okay with. Kind of. And I want there. What, what do you have there? Okay, so you want to be in the back. And it looks like you've got the skills that I want, which is even better. Okay, to stress relief. We'll start in the tavern. Pegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken and alike. And we're actually going to start with the brothel. Because... All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold of coin in hand. Has a love interest. And is going to spend time with them. Uh, and our Vestal, you are going to go to the cloister and you are going to pray. I don't know what you're going to pray to, mind you, but you are going to pray. And here we go. Nobody in the grave yet, which is nice. Nobody in the grave yet. I, I say that, and now I, now I'm worried. So, oh, I don't want to go into the Crimson Court just yet. The Weld is a new area. Oh, we've got one more short one in the ruins that I like. 
So who do I want to put in now? I think I'm going to do... I think we're going to add some new friends. Um, I know Vair wants to be in the back. So we're going to do this. With the Antiquarian, we can actually get more stuff, which is very nice to have. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We'll do our standard stocking. And the Antiquarian does come with a skeleton key. The Plague Doctor comes with an Antivenom, which is nice. Which means I don't have to buy as many, but I'm still going to get make sure that I have six. Because when we're going into the ruins, we have a ton of issues. And I'm not taking the blood yet, because I don't necessarily need it. So... Okay. Torches? Check. Food? Check. Bandages and in and in venom? Check. I think we're ready to go. Oh. This game's kind of perfect for spooky month, at least. And thanks to Thanks to the Switch, it's actually uh, running better than Darkest Dungeon 2 did for last year. Make sure I take a drink of water just to stay hydrated. And here we go! Into the ruins! Take out the holes of your what the heck is this map? Okay, so it looks like we're going north first, and we're gonna go all the way north, come back to the center room, and then work our way west. And Reynolds got kleptomania still, so I'm I'm a little worried that he's gonna take stuff. So if we are if we have the antiquarian selected and we actually find stuff, um we not only receive more stuff, but we can carry more riches back to Hamlet. Be gone, fiend. Oh boy. So we have festering vapors, fortifying vapors, invigorating vapors, and protect me. So we're gonna do a festering vapor on you. Bump in the night, which we call the Stodges. Um, noxious, because we can start on you. And now we get to the occultist and their weird moveset. <laughs> oh, I need to keep that in mind. I didn't think the occultist actually lowered the torch. That's unfortunate. We're gonna pull you to the front. Oh. Well, you decided to clear the corpse instead, which is fine. Which is fine. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. And we've got stuff! Bandage and an Eldritch Artifact. Which, that can sell for a bunch of money. And onward. Onward we go, everybody. Into the next room. And keep in mind, we just have to explore most of the rooms. Make sure that our torch... Ooh, 
really? Well, yeah, that's that's what you deserve for trying to be a thief. Okay, so that's done. That's not the right button. The match there. Is struck. A blazing star is born. So now that we're in the center room, we go this way. And we have a new curio. And Reynold had decided to not be a jerk. We appreciate that. I'm not terribly okay with that. Oh no, things are going wrong. <laughs> Thankfully they're spiders, so they're relatively quick to deal with. The issue is if you don't deal with them, you're gonna be running into problems. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to remove light from the torch right now, so we'll just do a vulnerability hex. Thankfully, we've got battlefield medicine to remove any sort of bleeding or blighting. Um, and we've also got ward reconstruction, but we don't really need to use it. So we're just going to make sure that these two are marked so that Reynold actually has a better chance to hit. There we go. We managed to poison a spider. <laughs> Nice. One more spider. One more spider. Nice. You love to see it. So we'll take the key. Okay. So now I need to move you around. Where I am gonna do that. I just want you to go back one. And there. That should work. So now. We're just going to keep on uh, moving ahead into the scary ruins. Bandits! Bandits! you love to see it. Good, good. Uh, we're gonna do another vulnerability hack, so we're gonna do it on the- Dang it! I tried to get the little guy in the back! <laughs> Cause I know that he- he can hit everybody, which is a bit of a problem. Oh! Oh! Sir! That is not okay. Slowly, gently. Well, at least we got one death. Um, we are gonna do some fortifying vapors. So that's some dice, that's great. And we're gonna need to crack out the occultists east in the whole ward reconstruction. So it's a wide range. And the target can start bleeding. So he... 
And so you gotta be careful with the occultist around. So far, we're fine. Like, this isn't my favorite situation, but it's not the worst. And nobody's, like, actively dying yet. Uh, vulnerability hacks. There. Now we just have to take out the big guy. Oh. Really? You're making me tap into my ban into my bandage um supplies, man. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh clustering papers. Okay. So I'm going to use that um a bandage on the plague doctor mainly because I can use battlefield medicine to clear bleeding from the occultist so we're just gonna do that <laughs> there and nice Insidious Fire. I have every intention to. Um, we're just gonna make sure that our party is shuffled around and keep moving right along. Oh no. That was so good too. You. Pardon my language, but I'm not very happy with thieves. Ouch. That's not great. Yeah. Need the torch. So that way we're not as stressed out. And I think we're gonna go down and around because we have to explore. A torch! So far, so good. Hall has been clear. An empty room. Chance to breathe. An altar of light. Huh. A small holy altar seems out of place against the backdrop of corruption. Let's investigate. And Reynolds got left. Neat. Hmm. There we go. Going up. So far, so good. Me being paranoid about the light. There's a box. Make sure we've got our antiquarian. And we got some deeds and another high-priced item that I'm hoping that we can carry back. Make sure everybody's fed. Torch again. And one more room. Or not. Yep. I'm going back. I don't want to run the risk of that last room being a fight. Important. Hang on. I will worry about that later. Ugh. And resolve XP. So we've got a skilled gambler. So there is a chance of winning if he gambles, which can't really do because he can only pray for stress relief. 
the world scrounger and blight resistance good good um and you also get winded which is not good hmm. Ooh, a new friend this is the shield breaker and we're definitely taking her along because she can be a useful frontline front unit. And what's the newest thing? Okay, Rord is back and Torelli is back. Nice. Let's grab some people. We've got an herbalist. We've got a ranged. We've got a ranged uh, person now, which is cool. And then we've got another bounty hunter. I'm grabbing the bounty hunter. Uh, I can't do any upgrades there. Can I do upgrades in the tavern? Because, uh, not really. But you need to relax a little bit. There. Uh, is there anyone else? That needs stress relief. I mean, the Plague Doctor, yes, but it's not to a point where I would be concerned about it. And finally, we have the Sanitarium. This is where we can alter some quirks. And we're definitely doing that. Reynolds, come here. You need to get cured of your kleptomania. And he will be back for, for the next week. Um, which we can use Roared and I think it's Castile. Or I think it's how it's pronounced. Um... We can use them as frontliners. We can also use a bounty hunter as, as a frontliner. So the point is, we have options. And I think, yeah, I think we'll be okay for one more trip, I think. One more. And we've got access to the Warrens and the Cove now. And we also have access to the Weld. Now, if you notice in the Weld, there's a orange marking. So that's a veteran task. We're, we're not doing it that week. So we've got Skirmish in the Warrens. And we've also got our first boss, which is the Necromancer's Apprentice. I don't think we're necessarily ready for that either. Um, uh, All Saints Day, because some, some tasks actually give you a event. Uh, I don't know what the ring does, and I'm not necessarily going to grab that. And that, I think, is something for the Plague Doctor. Hang on, that's... Yes, that is. That is a... That's something I want. Okay, so I need somebody, I need several people to handle frontline. So Rord, you're gonna be in second rank. And Castile, can you handle first position? Yes, and you prefer it. Okay, so you're actually gonna be in front. Um, I just need to make sure that you stay alive then. So I'm gonna grab Torelli and I'm gonna stick her in place of the Light Doctor. Okay, I think we're set. I think we're set. Let's go provision. Now, the cove is actually known for having a ton of shipwrecks, so we're going to max out on shovels. Uh, this is a shorter mission, so we are going to just do our standard torch count and food count. Because they don't eat. And we don't have any extra stuff in terms of antivenom or bandages 
So we're going to do that. And we're going to do this. And now we're going to be dealing with some fish. Yay. These salt folk caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. Thankfully, they must be washed out. Thankfully, we don't have much in terms of map issues. It's just a matter of getting there. Coral. Aw. Nice. And a box. We have nothing in it. Ah! Mechanical hazard to be possessed by evil intent. I wouldn't necessarily call that mechanical. But okay. Um. Okay, so this is an em this is an empty room. Cool. This is an empty room. We can just go back. On to the next one. Hunger. Already. Interesting. Torch. Is that an empty crate? Unfortunate. And hey, a backpack. This could have stuff. And it does! Some very good stuff. Um, a trampled journal. I have become vengeance. That's, that's a, uh, that's a lead up. All cultists will feel my, my maze. Brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered. Tis true. I'm starved and half mad, but as long as there's a breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony on those who seek to despoil my, my great, uh, nuns? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, and now they come, I, I douse my torch, I do not fear the darkness, this is my house, and woe to the uninvited. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't think it ended well <laughs> for him, to be honest. Um, and he's got a fight coming up. Good to know. Good to know. Ooh. Ah, still nothing. Ooh, fish carcass. Ew. Ooh, the antiquarian's got the red plague now, so that's not good. I'm gonna have to clean that up at some point, and say hello to the fish of the cove. Okay, our first target is gonna be the healer in the back. Or the uh, shaman fish in the back because I, I know he, he can heal and that's going to be a pain to deal with later. Um, And without the one in the back doing all the healing, we can just fillet these fish with li very little trouble. Um, it's range and it lets me forward one, that lets me back one. Ooh. Ooh. I forgot that... The shield breaker's main thing is a lot of movement. So you could chain that. <laughs> Just to make sure that the abomination can take at least one hit. Ow. And then we pierce. 
to get back in rank one. Good, you're stunned. Nice! We love to see a critical heal. And we'll just take everything. And just keep moving forward. Ooh. That's gonna be a fight. And we've also got a trap to deal with. I think you're gonna be better at dealing with traps. There we go. Torch. Hunger. Oh boy, there's there's a lot of fish here. Ooh, that's not good. That is also not good. Uh, we're doing preventative measures. Yeah, we're gonna pierce and we're gonna pierce him into the uh, shaman character. Ma uh, manacles can't hit the back, which is a problem. So we're gonna do beast file and then we're gonna do a divine heal. We're doing so well! <laughs> and all it takes is one crit. Just to send us reeling back. Stress wave. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Oh man. Bleeding. We're doing okay, but... I don't like this. I really don't like it. Um, yep. Divine comfort. Heal everybody in the party. It's not much, but it'll do something. Uh, make sure. Oh, shoot. I don't have any food. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, stunned, so he's not. Maybe attack. Dodge, which is good. Um, beast file on the back. Because that's just gonna keep adding blight around. Make sure that you stay alive. Ah! You were not supposed to miss. The slow death. There goes the jellyfish. Good, good. Jellyfish is dealt with. understand that your wounds are mounting, however, we're, we're having a little bit of an issue. <laughs> uh, there we go. Another critical heal. Good work with their Vestal. Uh, stun. Try to pull us down. There we go. There. Oh, no quarter was given on on either. Success so clearly indeed. Or is it 
merely a trick of the light. So we're going to go to our antiquarian and we're going to investigate the chest here. And we're going to use the key to get some extra loot. And there we go. Is this coral? Yay! The coral will take care of stress. Or at least a little bit. Um, snails. And jellyfish. I don't like either of them. Uh, not fortifying vapors. We need festering vapors. Because if I can poison the snail, we're fine. And then we can start doing judgment. No! You weren't supposed to miss! And the reason I'm not really attacking the snails is because the snails have, hyper have higher defenses. So it's a little difficult to get around them. Oh, and you stunned my back row. Jerks. Oh no. That's not good. Thankfully that brain missed. Um. Oh no. Triple stun? Not cool. You. Okay, that's that's gonna hit a different target. Ew. Now the shield breaker has something. That's gonna be a future a future dungeon problem. And the main reason I went for the back is because I want to try to get that jellyfish out before he tries to do another stun. Because it would really not be fun to deal with. Here we go. Now we just have the snails. Now we just have the snails. Which means I can put the Vestal in a healing position. And I can also do the same to the Antiquarian. There. There we go. Ooh. Um, does anybody in this party have a bleed skill chance? I don't think so. We don't really need it. Take the rest of it, though. Here. Okay. Here's our next fight. Oh, brother. This is not it's not good. Not good at all. Oh, and you've got horror on you too. Really? Ooh, puncture actually bypasses the guard, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't put you in a different position yet. A momentary abatement. And by momentary, you mean next to nothing. Okay, so the giant octopus thing um, proceeded to guard. And hi! Um, 
to answer your question, it's it's one of those deals of practice. And be prepared for when things go absolutely wrong. Cause I say this now. Um I am actually in a situation where I might actually lose somebody and I really don't want to. Comfort, please. It's better than what it was before. And you're not bleeding, which is great. Is well, do I want to? Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do these bio because it's just gonna eat the corpse. So we're gonna do a manacle on you. Oh, and you're resistant to stun. Uh, my heroes all always get stressed and go crazy. Um, then I highly suggest that you take advantage of stress re relieving skills if you can. Um, and on the topic of stress, here we go. <laughs> Combination, please, please be nice. Uh, clear the bleed because I don't have battlefield medicine with me, and I can actually send the shield breaker back one. So I'm gonna do that. Manage kiss on you because you are already debuffed. Do I want to do a festering or do I want to do a fortify? I think we're just going to do a festering and just keep stacking the blight on this guy. Uh, okay. And now we're going to do divine comfort. Because I know that my either my antiquarian is going to go nuts or they're going to die. Either way. Either way, I do not want that. Um, so yeah, send, send you to the back. Yeah, I understand you don't want to die here. The abomination's not doing so hot either. Um, just heal. Oh, good. Good, good. All right. That's fine, because that means you're going to die next turn. Yes, to puncture, because it does bypass the guard, so I can still hit the target. And we're going to do a rage. Rip into you. Uh, make sure that you heal. There is also an item that I did not stock up on, known as laudanum. You can actually buy it before you head out. Um, that will remove the effects of horror and should relieve some stress. Favorites? Oh. Now that that's that's a hard question. I think my favorite is the Houndmaster. Which we have not seen yet in, in this playthrough. Uh, get you off a of death door. Um, I need to get you off of death door because I know the bleeding damage is going to get too much. There we go. One more. It's just a cultist. We got this. It is just a cultist. <laughs> um, I 
don't need to heal my vessel very much. Or at least not yet, anyway. Uh, Abomination is doing a good job. Because they are healing. Or, they're not healing, but they're dodging. Uh, we haven't seen the Grave Robber, at least not in this playthrough yet. Uh, reading that people said Jester is the best. Jester is best when it comes to stress healing. Um, they're not the best hero overall, though. Um, can I afford to change back? Yes. Yes. I, I can afford to shift back. There we go. There we go. And we got some stuff. And we can go back. <laughs> Yay, we're, we're definitely going back. Um. So, with this game, and it's another lesson that you learn very quickly, is that you will find heroes that fit your playstyle the best. And depending on what you like to play that that's where your favorites are going to be so for me uh for example for myself i prefer characters like the occultist and the hound master mainly because they they synergize with each other very well also the flagellant which is should be the next character that we receive i believe i think um, don't need, eh, well, 20% healing skills, which is great for, for Vestal Necromania, which is less great. <laughs> um, plus 10 protection stat, that is, that is great. Um, I don't, okay, so you're good with Unholy, but not... Not really anything else, which is not great. Um, Wash in blood and speaking of the flagellant, he has arrived. And I think for our last run of stream, I will put him on a party and show him off. Um, also, how, how do you become rich? Basically... Uh, where is my antiquarian? I... Uh, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Um, if you have this character in particular, make sure they stay alive as long as possible. Because you can put them in a party, and they will actually net you more stuff. Uh, that being said... I need to make sure that you don't lose your mind. And make sure that you are upgrading your Hamlet as well. Because that will help out your party in the long run. So we will confirm treatment for you. Uh, do I want to give Lord a stress, stress relief right now? Or not. Uh, maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Um, level. Stress. Yes. So, Torelli is... Is also stressed out. But I think I can afford to put them in one more team. Well, I didn't know that. Um. It's... Yeah, it, it's it's one of those features that as you as you play, you you will learn how to uh, essentially make a team that's right for you. <laughs> and let's do it. Ooh, I ooh, I also have the Vestal Chalice, which we're we're putting that on. We're putting that on somebody. We're actually putting that on you. So we're gonna open up the hero menu here. And make sure that you have the Virtuous Chalice, which will basically give you a Virtue Chance. So instead of going crazy, you actually end up doing something good. 
And then for the Plague Doctor, where are you? There you are. Um, I need you to have this. So your, uh, your HP is lowered, but your accuracy is increased, which that's what I want when you're tossing plague grenades into the back row. So let's see who else we have to bring into our ranks, shall we? Ooh, Hellion, sweet. We have a Hellion. We have a Hellion in our ranks. This is awesome. And then we also have a second Highwayman. Which is kind of good to keep around. So, I usually go for two hours. Which means we can fit at least one more run in. Um, actually, I want to check. I can't improve the bar. Can I improve the sanitarium? Not yet, because I need more crusts. Okay. Cool. Um, let's do an upgrade into combat skills real quick. This is another way to make sure that your team is actually somewhat fitted. And I want to check... Who do I want to check? I want to check you first. Because you've got Punish. Yes, you've got Exsanguinate. Perfect. Um, you got redeem, which is also good. Endure and suffer. I'm going to make sure that you also get redeem. And then we're going to open up your hero profile real quick. And make sure that you don't have suffer and you have redeem instead. Either way, we're putting the flagellant in the first two rows. Or first two ranks. And then... I think we're set. I think we're okay. Because we can... We can swap out members and, and go from there. We're not doing the Darkest Dungeon. It's fine. Um, so you're going to go in front. Oh, I should have checked. Yeah, you're going to be better in second rank. You can also be in third. And do you have... You do, so I can put you in a healing position. I'll, I'll put you in third rank for now. And where is that Plague Doctor? There you are. There you are. So we're going to put you in the back rank instead of Cleric, because we can uh, you can tag team off of the Archer. Um, uh, the Weld, no. The Warrens, because that, that's a trinket for the Grave Robber. I, I do have a Crusader. So, let's just do this real quick. It's short, it's sweet, to the point, and we will provision. Now, I usually take a fair amount of torches with me, and I think I'm going to take even more, because the Welds feature, as it were, is that light will um, deplete faster, which is not great. Also, here is the is the Latinum. It can remove horror, which will reduce stress. And make sure that we stock up on food. Boop. Ah, wrong button. Oh, shoot. Um, I did not select the right mission. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Now, now we're, now we're back in business. And, huh, huh. Buy the torches. That should be enough. Grab some shovels. Stock up antidotes and bandages okay food check 
Torches, check. Antivenom and bandages, check. Extra stuff like shovels, check. Uh, we don't need the blood just yet. And I'm gonna grab an extra, I'm gonna grab a key just in case. <sighs> All right, let's hope this works. <laughs> Okay, and I will admit the flagellant is a little bit of a fail safe. Um, because when he is about, when, when he dies, he actually does end up healing the rest of the party. Which is a lovely fail safe. And here's our first fight. Some rabid dogs. So... Punish. And I don't have to mark, so we can just smack the dog. Um, I can only do a noxious, which is fine. We'll start working on the back. And then sniper shot can take care of the first can take care of the one in the back. There we go. That's fine. We've got battlefield medicine with us. So we can just clear the bleeding. Like so. And, um that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. So hopefully I can finish up these dogs and I don't have to use battlefield medicine on the plague doctor um, I could use battlefield bandages so yes we are going to do that and we're going to put it on our plague doctor so that way they stay alive rabbit rush you are not bleeding when you should um, there is no other bleeding person, so we will use Battlefield Medicine to clear the bleed from ourselves. And... There we go! First fight, taken care of. Lovely! And we'll just keep moving on. Nothing of interest. use our torch to make sure that the monsters don't get any advantage on us. Nothing in here, so we'll just go up and around. Nature herself, the victim to the spreading corruption, now formed the fearsome threat. Make sure Now there is a monster known as the, I believe the Shrieker that can show up when you're not, when you don't have light. And I really don't want to deal with them. Well performed. And I do ha not have the Antiquarian in my party, so I'm not really getting a ton of gold. Right now, such missteps are the exception and not the rule. And another empty room. Well, I'm not sure if I should be happy or not that most of these rooms are empty. Uh, spiders. That was quick. Um, ooh. Ooh, that's that's not good. Uh, we sniped the one in the back. Nice. And then we'll collect bounty on... Great. Sir, you were supposed to hit. 
uh, stunned, which is not great. Um, yes, battlefield medicine on you. Because I really don't want to be dealing with that blight. Okay. Noxious gas. There we go! Nice! Beautiful! And I need another torch. There. So just a little bit further. And the reason I switched to the Plague Doctor there is because I could easily remove it if we ended up in a fight. Ooh. Ooh. That's a corpse! And there's stuff there! Okay! Corruption. Uh, Make sure that everybody is fed. Because that will help with stress. And of course my herbalist is is the most stressed out of the party, which I'm not really surprised by. And that is the last room. So there's going to be a fight in that room. Well, at least I'm making a good chunk of money in this at this point. Ah! Curious too, the trapped maker's art. This ecstasy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Make sure. Oop. That's something important. Ah! Uh, there. And fungus and cultists. Oh joy. Um, let's try to pull you to the front. Works out really well. Suppressing fire. No. We'll just do a sniper shot and we'll focus on the other one. Basically, my main strategy is try to identify who's going to throw, like, the most stress around at any given moment and take them out first. Which, in this case, it's the cultists. The cultists are the ones that will deal the most damage in terms of stress. And now that they are dealt with, the fungus should be easy enough to deal with. There we go. And... One more fungus. Punish should be able to deal with it. This bounty hunter can't really hit when it matters the most. I don't like it. There we go. And we will return to the hamlet, just to be on the safe side. But now we have a tr we have a class exclusive trinket for a crusader, which we only have Reynold right now. But if we pick up another one, that'll be nice. Uh, there we go. And it looks like we've got some traits. We've got curious, which is actually not 
Which is actually not a bad trade. And then we also have On Guard. Which is a very good buff. And then un Unyielding, which is also very good, considering it's resistance against dying. <laughs> Okay, and now we have to go through the- well, we have to do our first mission in the Crimson Court. But that will be a problem for future me to deal with. Um, so I need to look at who is the most stressed, actually. There we go. Who is the most stressed? I will put you into prayer because apparently you are particularly particularly religious and um you're the you're the one that needed it the most. So we're going to finish up with a little bit of prep before we go into the Crimson Court next time. So I... Now it's the question of who do I want to bring into the Crimson Court? Because as soon as it starts, I'm going to be in a whole world of pain. Um, so we're actually going to go to the Blacksmith. I think I want Reno first. And I, I do have enough crests. I do have enough crests to upgrade the furnace. Okay. So I cannot upgrade the weapons and armor right now because I don't have enough other stuff. So I can't do that until I upgrade the blacksmith. I've also got the survivalist opened up, which I don't really need. Uh, but like I said before, that's going to be a problem for future me to deal with. So, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Please make sure to leave me a follow and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I go live. On my YouTube channel, make sure to like, comment, and sub over there so you don't miss a recap. If you're feeling particularly generous, since I am on the road to affiliate, uh, I have a Ko-Fi link as well. Any money generated through the link will go back towards the channel in some way, shape, or form. Additionally, if you're looking for more work from me, I have a link to a portfolio of D&D Homebrew. Uh, all written for 5e as of right now. Uh, none of it is perfect, mind you, but it's something interesting for your next tabletop adventure. The next stream that I know I'm going to be a part of will actually be tomorrow. My friends Coffee and Silver are doing their Soul Link, hopefully. Um, and it is my job to help with the back half of that. So that'll be, be my next appearance. The next solo stream, which will probably be more Darkest Dungeon, um, to be honest with you, because I want to get as far as I can during Spooky Month will probably be Thursday or Friday. So we'll shoot for that and if something changes then we'll we'll just we'll deal with it. So until then, stay safe out there, 